flow rate is holding steady at 45,000. Noted. Keep got a loose connection right here okay, okay i'm logging that now check the pressure reading on the next segment The fine grade salt is transported on this dedicated conveyor directly to the iodization facility. Check the levels on mixer 2. Flow rate is steady, proceeding with the batch. ensures the salt is evenly iodized before moving down the line. A steady stream of
the weight on batch 42 is fluctuating slightly. Noted. I'll recalibrate the dispenser now. Looks like the final layer is going down now. Pattern is holding steady. We are good for the next run. This batch has the smoked apple wood. Make sure the labels are straight. Got it. The herbs are ready for the next run. The sodium levels are slightly elevated in this batch. I see that. Let's rerun the analysis on sample C. Coming in with the next pallet now. All right, set it down right here. Bring it back slowly to your left, just a little. All right, drop it right there. Copy that, set. Watch the clearance on the left. Got it, pulling back now. Check the manifest for the iodine count on these bags. Looks good, we can move these to aisle four. Here is the delivery for the fine salt, 20 cases. All right, let me check the invoice. Looks good, thank you. Water purity levels are stabilizing. Yes, the recirculation rate is holding steady at 98%.
think we're seeing the Domplon celebration shop. See this diagram here? We need to realign the scraper assembly first. Okay, I'll adjust the hoist tension. The flow rate on processor three is stabilizing. Good, let's keep the target at 20 tons per hour. As the diagram illustrates, the brine is fed into the multi-stage evaporator. This is the crucial thermal compression process, ensuring maximum yield. Ensure the goggles form a tight seal around your eyes. And remember, when fitting the hard hat, always check the suspension straps for a secure fit. The conductivity reading is stable now. Okay, noted. It's within the acceptable range for the ponds. Let's double check the pH levels as well. We're at 28%. It looks good for the harvest. Okay, recorded. 28% salinity confirmed. Keep an eye on the pressure gauge right here. All right, I see the spike you mentioned. Make sure the transfer pump is regulated. The magnesium levels are stabilizing right on target. Good, I'll adjust the flow rate to maintain the concentration. By utilizing these peak demand shaving controls, we can drastically reduce our energy costs and ensure facility efficiency. The water velocity is high here. Did you get a reading? Yes, logging it now. The turbidity is acceptable given the rainfall. Check this section before we seal it. Looks good, the weld is solid. Hey, save me some of those chips. <laughs> <laughs> Only if you promise to cover the morning rounds tomorrow. The eyewash station is fully functional and the shower provides adequate pressure. The AGVs on the north side are prioritizing the salt pallets for the morning shipment. Got it. I'll update the inventory count. Yes, we can confirm that order for the industrial valves. Okay, let me check the inventory on that part number right now. This is Stacker 1, container secured, proceeding to Stack 4. Copy that, Stacker 1, clear to proceed. We're looking at a 20% increase in efficiency since the last cleaning. Good, make a note of the inverter readings as well. The salinity levels are normalized. We can increase the flow rate now. All right, updating the log. The closed loop is fully operational. A symphony of industry and nature, harnessing the power of the sun and the sea to produce over 6 million tons annually. The journey from ocean to table is complete, bringing the finest selection of sea salt, kosher, and specialty flavors directly to you. I think that's just enough. <laughs> Looks perfect. I can't wait to try the rice. <laughs>